Hello and welcome to another Vice Freeline tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you the live simulation sample project we've built and how we've done it. It's very similar to other live simulation games and projects. There is a character which basically has these four places to be at. It has the office, has the bedroom and the kitchen. Now you can see that the character is sleeping and after a while he will basically choose to go to other places. The character has eight actions and I'm going to show you how we've done it. You can, you can do it basically uh, many other ways but this is just one example of how to do something like this in a blueprint project. And you, for example, might uh, not like the amount he sleeps and want to change it and easily can do that. Basically, by opening the debugger, checking to see why sleep takes so much score, and now <laughs> just when I opened it, changed action, doing other things, as you can see. It would be cool to add a gun to kill him while he's doing this, or add some puppies for him, or whatever. Okay, so. The live simulation folder contains almost everything that you want. The rest are like materials and meshes and things that we don't use. We use a blackboard. Uh, we have four character needs. Energy is for uh, like mm, sleep. Hunger is for food, obviously. Bladder is for going to the bathroom and <clears throat> usefulness is for working. Uh, what we do is that we have eight actions, four of them are for doing things and four of the other ones are for going toward the place that you need. For example, uh, the difference between sleep and go to bed is that sleep only has a consideration which checks the blackboard to see if he needs to sleep and is he overlapping with a uh, basically bed by using two generic considerations we use this for all and if these score high so if we need to sleep based on checking the energy key of the blackboard and also if you're close to the bedroom then you go to sleep uh, th this consideration takes the subclass of uh, basically what uh, type of object you need to check so whatever bed nearby is fine but if you are not close to bed, we want to get close to it. How we do that? We check the energy and also check our distance to the place that we want to sleep in. That way, we can simply go toward where we should go uh, to do the action, which in this specific case is sleep, but could be anything else like for example there are actions for going to the kitchen for going to work and they, all of them are like similar uh, the bladder one checks the distance with uh, the bladder related object so yeah these are how the behavior is set up and you can change the curves the way that the character works is that basically over time once Per second, uh, the character reduces these attributes or increases them depending on the needs. So, uh, first of all, the agent controller has nothing, so don't think about it. It's just uh, the air controller that we need. But here, we do have the logic for reducing the values for the blackboard and 
initially in um, begin play. We set the initial values of all of them in the blackboard based on what the user supply in the variables here. And then in tick, what we do is that basically we say, okay, let's do have some delay, but uh, after each delay, we basically uh, set the text at the top of the head of the character and also uh, reduce the values of the blackboard stuff. So we first get the value, for example, for hunger, and then add the value that we have in the related variable to it, and then mm, clamp it between 0 and 100, and then put it back to the blackboard. And we do the same for all of these four attributes. This is the biggest blueprint of the project, but doesn't do anything special. It just either decreases or increases the value of an attribute once per second. Or based on whatever time you want, the actions and the considerations, which are probably more important to you at the moment, learn about. We have only three considerations. This one, which has also has comments, just checks uh, the value that you ask for from the blackboard and then normalizes it and returns it for the curve to calculate the score bit. So normalize, basically, what it does is that we tell it, okay, there is a min value and a max value. Let's say minimum is 0, maximum is 100. It takes, for example, 70 and returns 0 0.7. <coughs> basically, turns the value between 0 and 1, so we can use it for the curve of the consideration. We have two other consideration. One of them, basically, uses overlap functionality to see if we are uh, connected to an object or not. And we have two different return values, 0 and 1. So either we are overlapping with the subclass, an object of the subclass that we choose in this variable here, or uh, basically we are not overlapping with an object of that type. In this way, we can detect if we're close enough to a bed or a, a workbench or a office or whatever. Uh, and this last one is distance. So mm, it's kind of like the overlap one, but it calculates the distance between you and an actor of the specific type by basically getting the distance to a target. Uh, and target actor can be set. by basically the mm, action. So an action which requires a target needs to set a list of potential targets. And we, if you have a target, we check the distance to it. We have two actions. One of them is move to, which basically moves the character toward uh, the target that it has by using this AI controller function, simple move to, and it follows the nav mesh. Update targets is an action specific uh, function that we've created. So what you need to do in uh, this uh, function by overriding it is to tell the system which objects are potential targets for this action. And then the scoring system, what it does is that it says, okay, if the sleeping action says these three bits are 
potential good targets let's check the score for all of them and choose the best one and then after it found that for example the closest bet has the highest score which is 0 0.8 then compares its score to for example the best score for eating at a kitchen and, and also you can have multiple kitchens and it will only compare it with the best kitchen score uh, and you can get your target in any way you want you can use the environment query system you can use uh, the object overlap functionality you can use uh, basically whatever functionality that you want to use you don't have to use sphere overlap uh, in the fps sample in fact you use eqs uh, pretty heavily but as you can see the target which the consideration used to calculate the distance was being like set here uh, this other action uh, it's pretty simple it basically increases the value of a blackboard key over time and after it reaches a maximum value it simply calls finish uh, so the action is done and then after finished is called then another action should be chosen based on the score and this action will no longer continue executing that's all it takes to create this project this is simple but it took us like less than three four hours to put it together as well so uh, yeah, the, there are other things that you need for a project like this to do a good life simulation project. Probably using smart objects and asking them what they can do for you is a pretty good idea because easily you can add new objects which can do new things. Uh, also, you can basically use multiple curves uh, for the speed that different attributes change. And of course, you can add lots of more objects uh, a lot more objects and actions and then for example we could have watch tv here we could have like a pet moving around and this character uh, whenever the pet was close by he could simply uh, stroke the back of the pet or yeah do add other things pretty easily uh, i hope that it's helpful and you can use this project uh, by basically you can get it by going to our documentation yeah documentation by the way is accessible from the menu uh, you know Unreal real two but the sample is accessible from here and uh, we'll link it into the in the description of the video as well and you can uh, expect us to do more of these and also have a textual description pretty soon in the documentation. Have fun.